Hey, beautiful souls, it's Brooke. How you doing? I am an intuitive Reiki master. I'm also a channel for the divine. And I was sitting here uh, doing my prayers, calling in my angels, asking Metatron to, to activate his cube, to clear your chakras as you're watching this. Um, ask Michael to wrap his golden rays of protection around you and around me while the messages are coming through. I also ask Gabriel to help me to hear the messages clearly and to deliver them uh, to those that need it. It's such a beautiful day today. Such a beautiful day. I feel a sense of peace. I feel a sense of calm. I feel a little anxiety here, okay? Um, because we can literally feel the planets turning on. One eleven on my clock. Because we can feel the planets turning on, it brings up a little bit of anxiety about where are we going? What's next, right? 122, 123. So, um, I decided to go on a little adventure and I stumbled upon these <laughs> absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. So I really wanted to sit down. Let's pull one. Let's get an idea. 144 on my clock. Let's get an idea of the energy that we're working with. Let's get an idea of the energy that's coming up. Let's see what's being released with this new moon. So new moons, we've got to release in order for the new to come in. We'll be having a full moon very soon, just a couple of weeks. Okay, let's see. Is there another one? Oh, limitless. Isn't that precious? We're going to have to we're going to have to read this because it does connect to the chakras, which I absolutely love. I absolutely love. Oh, and the fox. Love that too. Determination, the red fox. Is there one more? Sunflower, confidence. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we've got 313. We've got limit, limitless. Okay. Determination, fox. And then confidence, 3T3. Okay, so. Let's see. Limits like fears are often just an illusion. <laughs> so there's definitely been a lot of fears that have been clearing um, that could be connected to the anxiety that I'm picking up because now we're, we're approaching things from a different 14, 4, 14, I'm going to Okay, we're approaching things from a different viewpoint, right? Instead of reacting from fear, we're now reacting and making decisions based on this is what's going to be best for me, right? So that's the programs that's shedding with this moon energy, especially coming into the Leo moon. Your imagination offers you an opportunity to achieve anything provided you believe in your ability to make it happen. As humans, we tend to create barriers, imaginary fences built by self-limiting beliefs. 
When you dare to take a step beyond your doubts and truly believe that you can achieve the impossible, even the sky is not high enough. <laughs> Never allow negative self-talk to tell you that you are not good enough, not yet ready or ill-prepared. Your only limitation lies in your own mind it's not enough to simply dream of what you desire. You need to make the concrete steps towards your goal. Each step need not be huge, but break it down into small, manageable chunks, and soon you will find yourself closer to that goal than you once thought possible. It's time to free yourself from the self-imposed shackles and shine so brightly that you light up the path, illuminating the way for others. So the light side of this card is open freedom, possibility, and abandon. The shadow aspect would be boundaries, closed, blocked, uh, fenced in. My sacred words, I love this. <laughs> I strive to make each moment greater than my last. I mean, shouldn't we all be living that way? The chakra is associated with this is going to be the crown chakra. Okay? So beautiful. I mean, this is what I've intuitively been picking up on. Releasing those fears, doing what's loving to self, following the direction that you're being led in, and knowing that everything is always working out for me. For my greatest good and highest joy. So the next one's going to be determination. I haven't come this far to only come this far. I mean, <laughs> kind of piggybacks right off the first one, right? When you encounter an obstacle on your journey, you may be tempted to give up. When the road ahead looks complex, you may find yourself spending countless hours in a perpetual daydream. Wishing that you could find what it takes to transform your dreams into a tangible reality. Close your eyes and see your goal in its fully realized form. Breathe in the scene deeply and feel the emotion that it invokes within you. Allow the fully blossomed idea to be manifest in that very moment. Take in every detail, each subtle nuisance that makes this goal uniquely yours. This experience forms a very crucial part of your goal, the vision. This act of visualization is only the first part of the process. Progress requires concrete action steps in the right direction. Be specific <laughs> in your goals, measured in your planning, and consistent in your approach. Results will come if you continue to show up for yourself every day. Remember that time will pass regardless of whether you act or remain in the daydream state. Let your determination and desire become the fire that moves you towards action. My light. Willpower, resolved, grit, and fortitude. The shadow aspect. Tentative, hesitant, flimsy, um, sacred words. I meet each new day head on with fire in my heart, ready to tackle any challenges as it arises. This is going to be connected to uh, the base chakra, the root chakra. Okay, so we've got the crown, the root, confidence, 911. I love it. It's beautiful. The man who thinks he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right. Anything that has ever been birthed into existence has likely been fought with doubt and uncertainty at some point. When you reveal part of your soul to others, it's natural to feel some degree of vulnerability and uncertainty. But you must not allow this fear to cause inaction. In taking your greatest risk, 
you allow your greatest achievements to take flight. Surround yourself with those who support and inspire you. 10-10 on my clock. This will help you to build your self-confidence and enable you to shine more brightly on your own. When you surround yourself with the people who are positive, who chase their dreams, and choose fulfilling paths in their lives, you are far more likely to live your own life in the same way. Look at the people around you and ask yourself whether your true self is aligned with the attitudes and the behaviors of those individuals. Make adjustments where necessary. Doubt will often be part of the process. Acknowledge it, embrace it, and ready yourself to take the next step. My light, belief, self-assured, poised, forthright. My shadow, shy, tentative, apprehensive, and timid. I can get timid around meeting new people. Absolutely, I, I could definitely live a shadow aspect of that. 11, 11 on my clock. So this is associated to the solar plexus. I hold an, an unbound belief that I can move, 1123, that I can move mountains. What a beautiful message for this morning, you know? Um, I feel this deeply within me. I feel this coming up. I feel this rippling out into the collective. You know, it's time that we really start connecting the pieces of 1144 connecting the pieces of the puzzle together so i send you all love on this beautiful day and um, if you'd like to schedule a reading with me my website's down below i look forward to working with you and you'll have a magical day bye